He told me that in the script he wrote, Referring to myself, there was an attempt to look at and understand the words that made up a particular essay on the subject of ironic sincerity. As someone not within or a part of the special words and phrases that the authors put to a particular purpose, it being expressed in all of the marks that represent letters, words, and numbers that exist in connection with studying and thinking, but not with useful skills, to be looked at and understood mainly by that part of society that is connected with the activity of studying and thinking, as well as those small roads which run next to long, hard surfaces built for faster travel, those people who read short pieces of writing on a particular subject, and whose profession it was to send back from their surface to a nerve ending reacting to a sign limited to a small area of interest within the subject of knowledge or someone who studies a subject in order to reach a new understanding, trying to do something, especially something difficult, such as imagining the dividing line between two very different things, or the most unpleasant types of people involved in activities around music, art, theater, etc., whose work is low in quality or does not have much imagination, trying to make the thing seem more important, or to place themselves in a situation where they can influence the behavior or perceptions of others. I mean, are we just like bored, spoiled children who've just been lying in the bathtub all day, just playing with their plastic duck, and now they're just thinking, well, what can I do? He wrote the following in parentheses. Please keep in mind that I have tried to read the essay. The script continues. In, at, or to that place, every time, are particular ways of thinking about something, always changing, as if we are all at the middle point of our own arrow trim. As far away as the system using words to communicate was to me, the attitudes, behaviors, and opinions mentioned were joined together in a close and personal way. In particular places having the same parts as a very large group of music, movies, books, and film enjoyed by ordinary people, as opposed to experts or the highly educated. From the middle point of my arrow trim, I laughed quietly as the thin, flat material made from crushed wood containing the short piece of writing produced by machine using ink became a color like that of a lemon, and dry, smaller than before, with lines as if from being crushed, coming apart in small, thin pieces, dropping from the part of my body located at the end of my arm. To think about it in a doubting way, he wrote in the script, has the use of reason in understanding such things, when belonging to the same period at any previous time, ever arrived separated by a greater distance from the ordinary people? Dir ist so vieles fremd. Das gefällt mir an dir. Ich glaube, sonst könntest du auch gar nicht schreiben. Was mir nicht gefällt ist, dass der Befremdete immer nur du selber bist. Trau deinen Zustand allen zu. 
Kieran Carson had a period of 12 months repeated 17 times from the appearance of his inferno until the end of him, but the two remaining differing written texts were never changed so as to become available in another language. The book said, The period of 12 months from January until December 1957 was a much greater fixed amount of time than usual for Albert de Barge. The place of Tarod, where chemicals and medicines were produced, was included where the value of all investments are traded. At 41, he starts to be in possession of an extreme lot of money. With the activity of buying and selling goods certain to achieve the results he hoped for, he travels to another place to look carefully for great admiration, honor, and praise earned by successfully doing different activities from those already mentioned, promising himself continuous greater distances in brave, interesting, or unusual acts at the greatest level allowed that is able to exist and the behavior that is not reasonable when considering the situation. It slowly, over a period of time, allows, by not doing anything to stop it, a manifestation of the absence of light and enjoyable feeling suitable for a special occasion. With the part of a 24-hour period when it is dark because there is very little light from the sun as the general situation in which it might happen. You're not going to say on four, eight, or twelve ruled pages what you know you should think about alienation or the working class, or modern life and leisure, about the white-collar worker, or automation, about other directedness, about Marx as critic of de Tocqueville, or Margaret Mead versus Marcuse. You wouldn't have said anything in any case, since your knowledge is small and your opinions are non-existent. Showing signs of suffering from the fear and shock of the armed fighting between two or more countries, bored with the state of being important and deserving of attention because of being very good or interesting, having experienced too much of it, he will put to a particular purpose a fierce, violent, and damaging power, and the ability to be physically and mentally active, to make new the things that happened to him and the way he spent his time. When compared to what is average, on the level of the things he wanted to happen very much, but were not very likely. Still, the book continued. Almost certainly, damage to his feelings had given rise to a need that was too great to be satisfied for him to do harm to someone as punishment for the harm they have done to him vis-a-vis -vis wives and female sexual partners. 
and a large group of people who live together in an organized way, making decisions on how to do things and sharing the work that needs to be done and his actions that happen before the present time. He is perfectly charming. He's delightful. Someone wrote in the book, The particular area of activity during the time between the afternoon and when one goes to bed, and the too large or too small for comparison to something else, unusual, brave, or funny things he had done, whether connected with sports, relating to work that is respected because it involves a high level of training or education, or relating to activities in which he met and spent time with other people. DeBarge is loyal to them, and willing to give his time and energy to the things he believed in. He deals with them all in, or to every place or part, when the situation between them is difficult. She's smitten with a wall and bear beneath the skies They don't want to kill you, they're just asking you to die He wishes, and this is not a polite request, to spend his whole life with very powerful feelings in an extreme way that shows a lot of effort. Whether it is the case or not that the state of total confusion with no order will be not far in position or time. And what I'm hoping is that what people can do, what you can do, is to use this film as a resource and a tool. Uh, some people, perhaps many people, find it very bizarre that it's so long. Please, see this length as a resource, not a threat. He wrote in the script, I do not think of myself as someone who is very much interested in the pretty things. Four of their noticeably dissimilar stages in form, appearance, and character development that number one more than three. My recognition of those which are valuable or important is limited to a single unit. On the other hand, 
being almost but not exactly the same. I very much grasp the worth, quality, and significance, and derive pleasure from George Perec's style of composition and form, and in a general way, without considering all of the details, the expenditure of creative effort by his friends and trusted companions in Olipo. I do not believe that I have developed a capacity for rational thought high enough, which would be necessary to completely comprehend the profound state of their writings in which expressions and form in connection with ideas of permanent and universal interest are possibly only when necessary conditions exist. He said, Because of good luck, one does not require a familiarity fundamentally concerned with a series of albums containing the art of sound and time, expressing ideas and emotions in significant forms through the elements of rhythm, melody, harmony, and color, numbering one more than four, used for formal authorization by the group of musicians granting the release under the descriptive name given, the electric banana, instead of the one already belonging to them, to bring about the right situation in which one can recognize the worth and quality of Parachute, the recording of several pieces of music that brought about my acquaintance with them. Rock so hot. But if the connection between your interest and substantial body of work of the pretty things is as partial and informal as the one belonging to me, you may take for granted, as I did, in accordance with their professional relationships with big manufacturers of phonograph records. People who are known and recognized for supervising recorded performances. Buildings where recordings are made that are considered to be especially important as an example of their type. And those generally known and talked about for their direction of professional careers. That they were a number of individuals assembled in a rare and significant unified relationship with modern music created with electrical equipment that is easy to listen to and remember. Actually, they had a very strong contextual relationship with the people of London who were trying new forms of art. Identified by the period relating to 1968 to 1971, more so than others. Whatever you say. Taking one look at my fuzzy hair, the dance dog he said, he said. Sign here and take your key, son, and try to keep it up. He told me, a course of thought in the process of asking a question that was different from the one that existed earlier was organized, developed as the result of an oral exchange of ideas that came into existence in one of two equal parts of a period of 12 months previously, about the semi-synthetic, illicit, organic compound derived from ergot that induces extreme sensory distortions, altered perceptions of reality, and intense emotional states. It's not a major psychedelic. Check, check, check out. The earliest form of the questions brought about in order to resolve a doubt in all sides of the small area in which it began gained its form in the proposition set forth as an explanation of the occurrence of the following phenomena asserted merely as a provisional conjecture to guide investigation, namely that back before now but not much longer than 50 revolutions around the sun, an unknown, undetermined, or unspecified flat piece of soft material that is put between the arts, beliefs, customs, institutions, and other products of 
human work and considered as a unit failed or broke down from being operated under extreme or improper conditions, making either the one or the other of two things, the development happening by chance rather than via the disposition of things following one after another in succession, of an arcing line forming a closed curve within itself which maintains without interruption the destruction by that identical one, of old data by the writing of new data on top of it, or a faulty, closely packed, reflective point in the path of a plane moving around a center while continuously receding from it, causing one to be struck with a greater fear. A single element interwoven into the greater complex of interrogation, made mention of the thing that seemed to be, and the perception of its nature after it had happened. A quick and large alteration at a time earlier then, and preparing the way for it to be damaged and stopped and involving as a necessary accompaniment. The act of examining carefully one of a large but indefinite number of the qualities of people who live together in a social system stemming from the Greco-Roman tradition. It was LSD, said PM, at the exact moment of the beginning of the recently created examination of the facts. They call the poetry, the music, the patterns, sculpture and films, the whole artistic output of the beautiful people, the work of the underground. Psychedelic is their favorite word. It means increased perception. It also means what happens when you take LSD. The script says, in the 1968 season after summer and before winter, when fruits and crops became ready to eat and the leaves fall from the trees, the groups of musicians organized for the ensemble playing of a type of popular music with a strong, loud beat that is usually played with electric guitars and drums originating from the United Kingdom, The Pretty Things devised their first public performance of their recently created disc of one or more songs produced as a single unit. With the practical and financial matters relating to its preparation organized by Norman Smith, SF Sorrow, whose sounds were stored using electronic equipment during a long period of time, an indefinite, usually extended period of time, at Abbey Road Studios. For the ones in charge of the personnel who assist the director in carrying out an assigned task, that being a brand of commercial recordings issued under a usually trademarked name at the company issuing such recordings, EMI. Anyway, we got together and we worked out a song, Alvin, this could be a minor sensation. Now it goes like this. People in charge were not impressed, and so it was officially accepted that the amount of money they would be able to spend on the act of helping sales increase was deficient in quantity. The recording of several pieces of music, accepted as belonging to a canon of respected works from that particular time in the past, diminished with the passage of time, to an obscurity within a part of space from which rays from a source of light are cut off by an interposed opaque body, sent in their direction by performances identified with a particular group who maintained a larger amount of practical know-how in the activity of buying and selling goods and services. Whether the group of musicians who played modern music together appeared with a single, not two or more, part of their bodies at the bottom of the leg on which they stood, within the UK production and publishing located outside of the establishment and occupied by the avant-garde, because the company who produced their goods did not show enough promise towards the pursuit of further actions, or because in past times they had seemed normal and relaxed in their strong preference for the lack of order, regularity, and definitiveness. In that place, they unexpectedly found themselves.
In the script it is written, referring in an approximate way to the subjects without naming them, which have come into existence via people in a society who are trying new and often shocking or illegal ways of living or forms of art, and who are likely to have a particular characteristic across an intervening, measurable period during which such a condition exists, as a result of their value being judged again for the second, third, etc. time. They stay enclosed, conforming in every respect to the social setting in which they developed. He said, The particular area and all the people and things connected with it in London, working or doing business in many parts or all directions of Ladbroke Grove, was marked by the power to produce through imaginative skill in a regular and continual supply, something to give to many different spheres of activity involving music while, exactly coincidentally, aiding in the development of ways of doing things especially those typical of a person, group of people, place, or period involving sound in the periods of 10 years happening soon. The products of the various arts practiced by a people constitute an objective and most important record of the spirit of that people. As you smile at me In your eyes I see the script reads, The pretty things as if in a refuge or hiding place on Westbourne Terrace not having the use or help of a label, started to copiously produce a great amount of their recently existent repertoire. A large number of these short pieces of music with words that are sung passed by means of a process to the part of their personality not usually seen by other people. The part involved in the granting of a copyright to another of any of the rights embodied in the copyright, short of an assignment of all rights. The electric banana. Some of those, as well as some being distinct from those mentioned, were made available to Philippe de Barge to convert the pleasant but unlikely situation of actively producing a recording of several pieces of music with a group of musicians organized for ensemble playing that he regarded with special favor, which he enjoyed thinking about. <laughs> The soul spray of my tea. Well, how's that? It's, uh, it's a nice tune, Uncle Julie. No, well, no, no, it's not. It's, it's a horrible tune. Do you know what? Do you know what that tune is, Uncle Julie? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a nostalgic breaking of wind after a dinner of sentimentality. You know, I mean, it's nothing. I mean, where's the, where's the adventure in it? This book is about a, a fat mother figure who eats her children with her sentimental rubbish, you know, and you're tuned pandas to this. I mean, the very instruments you play, the very barrenness is expressed by the shape. I mean, this, you know, there's nothing to them at all. different book read, an acetate disc shares particular characteristics with the flat, 
plastic disc on which music is recorded and produced on an instrument by means of the vibration of a stylus or needle following its spiral groove. Being familiar in a way that includes most people most of the time from the 1930s until near the end of the 1950s. Existing for the process and business of storing sounds using electronic equipment so that they may be heard later. And the act of sending out a program on the radio and continuing its particular purpose in a small amount in the present time. Damit der nur zuhört, dir und deinen Geschichten, die du eigentlich nur dir selbst erzählst. The book continued. In different ways than the usual strong plastic with a spiral groove carrying recorded sound for phonographic reproduction, which are made into their particular shape at a fast speed through a series of a large number of cheap actions taken in a factory. An acetate is made to exist through the particular purpose of a machine that stores sounds via the holding and turning of a piece of material being shaped by a tool, breaking the surface of a circular flat object containing no information or mark, thickly covered in a coating that typically dries to form a film by evaporation of a solvent, creating a long, narrow space to facilitate the hearing of sounds carried by a series of energy waves, varying the amplitude, frequency, and phase for the transmission of information, being active at the same time as the event actually happening, making the necessary tools, needing careful treatment and characterized by a high cost, all officially necessary, as well as a person with a high level of knowledge or skill relating to the activity, able to do the job well because they had practiced it, for the consequence or conclusion to be very satisfactory. The thin circular object is then spread with an enclosing layer of a generally hard and shiny chemical element, which is then removed slowly and carefully bringing into existence the direct opposite of an arbitrarily chosen regular direction that will in the future be covered in a thin layer of a different metal, which is then taken off to bring about that which will act as parental stock, affirming the presence of a condition expecting to be present, in this case a supply of something for use, which is then, one more time, covered in a thin layer of another metal which is taken off to make something new, denoting an absence known as an implement of pounding, which are then put to the purpose they were intended for, as a cavity in which a substance is shaped, specifically for use in making the thing in which sound has been recorded flat and firm by putting it under something heavy. Cut, move, jigger, jolt, cut, bing, bang, cut, cut, cut. As well as being put into the service of producing an original version from which copies can be made. They were, in differing ways, put to a large number of objects aimed at or attained during a time earlier than when the machines used for recording and playing sound on tape began appearing frequently. And in the fixed moment of time in which a series of years is reckoned, referencing recent techniques, methods, or ideas, they are employed by those who play recorded music for a dance club or party. They were accustomed to utilization in the transmission by means of radio to collect the performances as they were happening. Transmissions recording in advance and not widespread to postpone the daily happenings from the companies that provide programs in a regular, continuous way to stations to be sent out over radio during the part of existence measured in minutes, days, years, etc., and to make available for use those broadcasts from home on the Armed Forces Radio Network. things already mentioned became widely familiar in Jamaica by the people whose jobs it was to operate equipment used to play music through speakers in the advanced stage of the 1940s and 1950s. Acetates were often utilized as an example of a piece of recorded music that had recently come into existence, given or shown to someone by a person who records music, or a company that records and sells music, to make them support it. 
An unspecified number of acetates are admired and considered valuable due to their appearances being very unusual. More so for the particular reason that they include a performer's repertoire that has not been made available for people to hear. A man sitting on a narrow couch on a Thursday afternoon with an open book in his lap staring into nowhere. Les artistes, c'est souvent comme ça. Une fois qu'ils ont trouvé un truc, ils l'exploitent à fond. Faut reconnaître qu'on est tous pareils, chacun dans son genre. Oh, moi pas. Moi, mes trucs, je les varie constamment. The script reads, At a time earlier than the time when George Perec began to associate himself with Ulipo, he had invented one more than one prose narrative that was sold to the people, and was complex and dealt especially with human experience through a connected sequence of events produced. Things, a story of the 60s and a man asleep. David Bellows, the person whose job it was to change his written words into another language, discovered that which was not known about before. A single unit of a 1960 typewritten composition preceding all others in time, which in the first place had not been given approval or acceptance by the people occupying positions in the companies which produce and sell books. And he started the process of changing the words into the language of the people of England and the United States, leading to its commercial production and issuance in 2016 as Portrait of a Man. In this way, the script writer, your narrator, and those listening may, at the present time, think of, regard, or classify these published works, distinguished by name and composition, of which there is one more than two, as his pre olympian series of literary works that are closely related. Engulf the people with this fabricated, fragmented, uh, arbitrary process. It continues. Following after a time when EMI acted in a way that made the pretty things alert to the fact that they did not desire to be involved with an additional micro-groove phonograph record designed to be played at 33 and a third revolutions per minute after SF Sorrow, constituted in reaction to that which was unsatisfactory in regards to making money. The group of musicians would not make a different batch of recordings produced as a single unit available for the public to buy, parachute, until a time in the future that was one more than one revolution of the planet around the sun. The land beneath it, happiness that flows like water, a bed of peace for those that seek it, protected by bright javelins of fire. See them shine, they burn so brightly. See them shine. Beyond the hills, the dead lie sleeping. The world like wind through long grass wakes them. In the middle of the two times mentioned, they put the sounds of a collection of several pieces of music onto magnetic tape using electronic machines so that they could be heard later with Philippe de Barge. 
a rich man who spent his time and money on expensive things and a life of pleasure, the human offspring of the first-time producer, through the use of his imagination and ingenious thinking, of the solid but readily meltable cylinder usually made of medicated material for insertion into a bodily cavity or passage, such as the rectum, characteristic of the period extending from that remote moment in the past to the present time, a Frenchman who had studied medicine and drugs, including their action, their use, and their effects on the body, and started a company to produce goods related to those studies, Albert DeBarge. In 2007, when a person who was very much interested in and who spent a lot of time listening to the group of musicians who played modern music together discovered, unexpectedly, a phonograph recording disc coated with cellulose acetate containing the production of the sound recordings electronically combined and adjusted from more than one source, he made mic stacks. Responsible for publishing the print periodical containing miscellaneous pieces and often illustrated, ugly things, aware that its state of being was real. Wally Waller was employed in advancing the removal of dirt and the neatening of the very old phonograph record, and all throughout the measure of time corresponding merely to the period of the moon's revolution, each of the several pieces of music were subjected to a special process and treatment for a company to make available for the public to buy, arranged by those in a position of responsibility. When permission was given for its sale before all others in 2007 as The Pretty Things, Philippe de Barge, and then one more time in 2017 as Rock St. Trop, it created the appearance of the joining together of the division between the 12 months that calculate a specific duration and time that separates SF Sorrow and Parachute. Imaginatively bringing into existence a particular type of psychedelic music occurring near the end of the 1960s. They seem to have more brains than I gave them credit for. psychedelic dream, whatever that means, for good old-fashioned cash. The script reads, At the time in which the ears at EMI were unable to perceive SF sorrow as an object expressing an idea having a reasonable chance of succeeding, either through one, its artistic characteristics, or the other of the two, when listened to in regard to potential profits, Philippe de Barge, a person who had money, property, etc., that was worth at least $1 million, and who lived his life devoted chiefly to the pursuit of pleasure, was in a place where he was able to present to the pretty things a medium for publication by way of his longing for the chance to carry out a pattern of behavior with the musical group and his extensive ownership of things relating to or consisting of money. Music lovers, and I know you are music lovers, I'm sure that even he, sitting in his celestial sound booth, would have heard that and said, Open thy mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and the needy. Yeah. 
continuing, why did the collection of audio recordings meant to be released as a collected work not achieve the expectation that it would be available for the public to purchase? Taking for granted that he offered it for sale to several different companies, issuing commercial recordings under a trademark name in the hope that one of them would buy it, and not being able to engage their attention, assuredly relying entirely on his own resources, he had the money and relationships to make it available for the public to purchase. In his attempt to acquire delight and joy, was he affected by all of the planned work that was completed over a period of time? And was his aim intended to achieve fame, praise, or approval rather than for serious reasons? Without equivocation, he was able to understand the importance and worth of the ensemble's patterns of sound in the period when those with special skills derived from their experience at the companies that issued commercial recordings did not. Had the grooved disc meant to be played on a phonograph and to be made available for people to buy at the same time as its preparation, showing the way in which it was recorded rather than the quality of the music and singing? And had it attained its desired end, such that it turned out well in a way that is related to money, greatly exceeding the musical group's achievement of positive results during the period of their early development? There is a possibility that DeBarge could have been thought of as an artist whose style and practice were distinctive. Oh, stop it! Did somebody call out stop? I did. Who are you? Just a plain bloke, miss. He said, the two theories together, where one is considered the primary force in the creative process, and one where the aim of one's scheme is the acquisition of praise and fame, both have their influence weakened after receiving the effects of the products of the labor of a person of import, such as Peter Watkins. So our, our, our relationship to history is a very tenuous one. We're sort of like on a cliff edge, you know, slipping but holding on with our fingers never more so than today. Who appears to be able to mark as verified and then remove the sum background processes of thinking in order to make the decisions necessary in regards to the squares printed on a form representing the weak and unpersuasive characteristics of the expressions peculiar to a subject. Finally, the natural purpose of the two, for the most part, and after having been thought about a lot, is to intentionally change the course of close examination in the direction of, or in some different position from the whole group of people having a part in the activity, together in the serious, determined effort to use original and unusual ideas intended to be utilized by all ordinary customers. This may show that we have arrived at such an occasion when it will start to be logically unavoidable to separate the mass that these single units of language suggest without being implicitly stated into their component parts with the aim of introducing once again the existence of necessary conditions to make possible with imaginative skill. Things related to the making of objects, images, and music that are beautiful or express feelings. The film is dealing, trying to deal with these things and in its process and its form is trying to offer alternatives to the existing process. The script reads, At the more distant of the final two extremities whose severity was lessened, 
parachute's sonorousness is preeminently indicated as excelling all other collections of popular music usually played with electric guitars and drums produced as a single unit, whose period of time marked by a distinctive character is selected without restriction. Norman Smith's command over imaginary three-dimensional space created by the high-fidelity reproduction of sound in a stereo speaker system and his specially made patterns of sound gave rise to innumerable qualities in timbre within the narrow tube-like passage where it enters the ear. If by chance you have a tendency towards perceiving approximately in the manner in which you think. He said, Very little discomfort is caused by the fanciful or extravagant notion of a meeting devoted to DeBarge, taken form slightly different than other forms, with Smith in a post of control. It is certain that DeBarge could have borne the cost of what he charged for his professional services, as well as multiple periods of seven days at Abbey Road. told me, Wally Waller, having taken in as much knowledge as he could of Smith's sound process throughout the duration of the period during which they met to pursue SF sorrow, so effective that it seemed like magic, doesn't fail to satisfy our hopes or expectations in his first appearance as someone who makes the practical arrangements needed to make a recording, but he's not yet at Smith's position of rank. And in spite of the fact that I don't have a great quantity of information in my mind about Nova Studios, it involves little or no risk of mishap to accept it to be true without question or proof that it wasn't Abbey Road in an unfinished state. Even though during the period of time in which they met to pursue the DeBarge recordings, the group that was brought together was without an equal, and possibly holding one's attention in an unusually noticeable way for it, having as a characteristic twink as well as Vic unit. The second of those last two remained in place for the collection of several pieces of music brought together as Parachute. In advance of going back to his former position in the Edgar Broughton Band, and the music created as a result of his effort during that period that was devoted to its recording was extremely high in quality, in every part, from one end to the other. Frequently, it is asserted as a fact that Parachute achieved first position as Rolling Stone's one or more recordings collected as a single unit of the period of 365 days. But that public title of an expression of admiration was not true, real, or genuine. In spite of that, and in the absence of such an achievement ascribed to it, the great respect, officially set and wrongly shown, is frequently the subject of bitter or contemptuous ridicule in recognition after the occurrence, calling out, but it wasn't actually the best album, or it was a bad year for releases. Okay, yes, we are bored. We're all bored now. But has it ever occurred to you, Wally, that the process that creates this boredom that we see in the world now may very well be a self-perpetuating, unconscious form of brainwashing created by a world totalitarian government based on money, and that all of this is much more dangerous than one thinks? And it's not just a question of individual survival, Wally, but that somebody who's bored is asleep, and somebody who's asleep will not say no. And then acid poured on me and... From 
the script I read the following. It is not common and therefore sometimes valuable for those who perform music to tell others, the people, about the body of methods, rules, and postulates employed in their discipline. Would the recognition or understanding of a thing created as a result of effort for other people to read receive help or an advantage in advance from that possession of exclusive inside knowledge of the official limits which organize the general nature of the things suitable for literature? The pretty things, excited and without time to think or plan, very quickly produced original and unusual ideas. At different points in time, they seem to be on the forefront of more than one movement and usually particular areas of activity, every one considered separately and made stronger by agents that produce a temporary increase of their functional activity or their efficiency, arising or acting from the outside. From the popular music played with a strong beat and jazz influence developed by African Americans in the 1940s and 1950s and played extremely fast and loud, to using the place where audio recordings are made in ways that were characteristic of the period of the mid to late 1960s being associated with psychedelic drug culture, to glitter rock and outside of those stated limits. It's cocaine. But after some periods of 10 years, they decided to return to the stage in development identified by some characteristic feature in the position of the central point. You've learned nothing.